See this effigy? I don't think it's gonna happen. In Which secret one? space. Well, you'll notice it when you get there. Oh, Bring wow. me a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Looks pretty cool. I have to say, that's the new frost. I don't know what they're called. Oh, effigy of frost. Yeah. All right, let's go over the teams while we have a chance here. So for battle. Navi, we have Dendi in the mid lane as the core Wind Ranger. Ugh, sounds disgusting to say that out loud. Goblox team playing Undying, Funic on the Legion Commander, Kobost on this beautiful CK, and last but not least, Solo is going to be playing the. I'd like to say hideous because he is probably one of the most hideous characters in the game, Leshrac. Also one of the most baller characters. I freaking love that hero. Let's see, before we introduce Secret, if Navi can get both begins. level 1 runes again, looks like they will. Radiant Top rune for the secured. win! Well, they got them on Dire last game. So. Navi for the win! <laughs> <laughs> and, well, what else comes out of that? Pretty much nothing. So, for Secret, we've got Puppy playing as the Marana, together with the support of the support Kunkka of no -Tel. Mid lane will be Kuroki playing as Ember. Top lane, S4 on his trademark Batrider solo. And then bottom lane, Misery, will be playing as, tri as Triant, that's right, Nature's Prophet. So, I'm looking forward to see this first blood attempt from Secret. I think X-Mark X Arrow is a really cool combo now that they might try to pull off, they will. Well, they're... Okay, they're gonna hit it! <laughs> oh my god, that's unbelievable! And first blood's gonna go the way to Secret, making it look real easy, and Misery, in fact, is the one that picks that up. So off to a very good start. Batrider up top is 1v2. Interested to see how this lane progresses, actually, because Undying's here, we don't get to see that often anymore. Considered an amazing tri-lane hero, and then drops off considerably. So we'll see how that goes. This Kobos right now is alone in this bot lane, and even he yeah, might that's go down a really big to Big Daddy no tail. Arrow is going to connect without the X marks at all. Split Earth completely misses, and Kobos is going to go down as well, so Secret two kills to their advantage. <laughs> Right They're off gonna the have bat. to rotate this and dying. He's already bought a TP as well. Godlike needs to go down there. This Chaos Knight needs farm. So we haven't talked so much about Chaos Knight yet. We've talked about it in previous casts how I really love that hero and I wish it would get played more and it's cool to see it in this game. For me, this is one of the absolute best late game heroes in the game, granted that there's not heavy AoE damage to remove the illusions. And I think this is one of those games where it can be really scary. Oh, this is not gonna be good for secret this time oh, around. The arrow the receiving end. Oh what a sprout! Oh, nice sprout, wow. As Dendi Very gets a done. solo kill on the Ember Spirit, that's easily the biggest kill of the game. He is stomping Kuro. 9-3 yeah, was... against 2-1 and one and a solo kill to his name. Very nice start for Navi in the mid lane. Kuroki was as Kunka, in lane for a long turn. time at low HP. So to finish off on Chaos Knight, Phantasm, mm -hmm. of course, and an illusion-based ability that makes your illusions do full damage is absolutely insane. Uh, but they are also very fragile. But late game, Secret, the only really good illusion clearing their lineup has, I want to say for very late game, is Sleight of Fist. Wrath of Nature falls off, Star Storm falls off, it's a support Kunkka, and Bat Riders, Flame Break also falls off. They certainly have some tools, but if Host gets a, uh, an armlet and a heart, those illusions might be able to tank through it, and then he can just basically pick one target at a time to just kill off. Mm. So could get really interesting. With his early also, level also there's Torrin Ship, we shouldn't forget. There, there certainly are a lot of ways, but that's a well, le that's a more situational one that you can avoid. If no -Tail if actually gets the items, then obviously Tidebringer. I mean, brought sure. it up, yeah, yeah. still something right. to be looked at. Knowing no -Tail, that's not that likely with how he generally plays his supports. Doesn't yeah, itemize not. so much as other support players do. Well, we have generally rotations here from no -Tail Puppy. They're going to be roaming around. That means uh, Misery cannot really stay in the bottom lane by himself. So he oh, was funny. ancient for a while. He's in funny. real deep. Yeah, he's X mark. We have the X into Torrent, into Arrow. And that is an easy kill yet again. This is a combination we probably have never seen this early to this effect. Of this the four second X marks from Kunkka being changed. So level one, four seconds. Oh, nice. A nice shackle, shackle mid. mid lane, Kuroki. Split that's gonna miss. But of course he did yeah, have flame Level guard. one shackle, only one and a half second. Not enough to set up for solo there, Kuro. And this is unfortunate he's got, he's because Goblok had to come comeback. bottom lane and now he's not even needed. <laughs> I mean, this is the problem with Undying. This top lane has four, taking a lot of damage to oh, Funic. A couple more right clicks will oh, do it. The Rosie. He fine. He's gonna get one more right click, if not more. Oh, he gets it! And Puppy is there to say hello. And nothing Tried to more. save Batrider with the leap. Nice little play, but too late. Might have actually saved him if he did it earlier, as Kunkit once again dies to neutrals. Just really wants to end his life as much as possible. 
unfortunately keeps coming back to life and has to run into the jungle and die to neutrals again. Well, we'll Free TPs, that. man. That's what <laughs> the neutrals provide. Wait, that does that count in the, the kill counter, right? Four to yeah. three? So two of those are actually so. neutrals, so it's yes. a little bit yeah, misleading. So Navi having the kill advantage right now. Yeah, Kuro is starting to get something in mid now, though, because now his Flame Guard is... Flame Guard's level 2 and he's got some CS, and that means he's got his bottle and can start farming a little bit more here in the lane. Still losing to the Dendi range. by quite a bit, but yeah, new power shot is insane. But once this Flame Guard reaches especially level 4, he can even think of trying to solo kill Dendi, since even though Wind Ranger is a very mobile hero, pretty much no hero in the game can outrun an Ember Spirit. There's almost only Storm Spirit who can really get away. And the third spirit, Earth Spirit, is also pretty good, but... The Spirit Brothers. Top lane, yep. No-Tail, has X to work with yet again. Well, I've seen this before. He is level 6, so he has definite level advantage overall. We're gonna get some TP support from Undying to see how much that actually matters. The arrow's gonna connect. Nobody's gonna win this duel. Undying places his Tombstone. Funic, not really taking that much damage at the end of the day, so... In fact, deals probably more than he took. Yep. So he good will TP live. from Godlike to secure this. And that's the one weakness this support duo between Kunka and, er and uh, Mirana together have. They have extremely long lockdown, but their damage is really lackluster, right? You've got yeah. a torrent and an arrow. Compare that to a lot of support heroes that have two damaging spells. Even if you land the... Oh, what an arrow oh, on Dendi! Oh my goodness! No flame the searing chains were used matter. really early, but just wants the burst damage. And it's gonna take him out. Man, Puppy Goblin and this Mirana making room. plays once again. Four oh, out of four Goblin. kills. He's gets dead. X'd into oh, nothing. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, okay. He's oh, running the opposite. Oh, look at that! Oh my god, that's a lot of damage for Funic. He doesn't have enough mana for that duel. Now he does, but there's he gets the literally... He gets again. Gauntlet. He gets like four heroes. Oh, he's he's very literally attacking. the entire team. He get the team. tombstone off. Oh, oh he's my not god. casting it. I feel like that could have been really different if he got the tombstone off. That's a off. lot of rotations a little at the earlier, end of the day. Cool down. Is he going to miss again? Funic. Has he hit one yet? Oh, he's still... Can't get the duel off. He can't get that combo. There's he can do it now, but he's right under the tower. Is this anybody gonna win this duel? It's gonna be close. Dendi, finish off the nice power shot. Map. <laughs> yeah, seriously, he was in mid lane. He just actually walked here now. Uh, pretty good spell. Yeah, Solo has not hit a split earth yet. That's the disadvantage of there, man. I think. Unless oh, no, the power shot killed him before he landed it. And yeah, Solo. Speaking of him, he's pretty pretty toast. Will Dendi get a turnaround kill? No. Mid lane, Goblack and Searing Chains into an arrow. Look how mobile Secret is. Pretty ridiculous. And unfortunately, Undying, like we said, will drop off eventually. And I'm really worried about this Lesh. Lesh is a hero that, when we talk about playing support or core and whatnot, the real thing about this hero is that he's completely level dependent, right? And he's yep. not getting any levels right now. Yeah, this is a very poor Lesh. They need to find a gank that he's a part of that succeeds so he can get a full level from that. Just one or two more levels in Split Earth will make his life so much easier. But right now, his best friend to make a kill with is Quost, but they're not really on the same lane most of the time. He's mainly been moving to the top lane and the mid lane with the Lesh to help out, and not really had the biggest impact just yet. One thing we've eluded, though, is how much farm Navi are getting compared to Secret. So it is a very active game, and Secret are leading on kills, but look at Kvost's CS compared to the others. He's got 49 in the safe lane. Radiant's highest on Secret is the mid laner with 30. And I feel like this is a hero. S4? If you don't shut him down early, Kvost could really try for this right now. Attack. I think he will. Nope. They're afraid there's ripped. more heroes here. This is pretty much a guaranteed kill if they just go. Worried about the backup from Puppy, who yeah, is Split Earth will actually be impossible to miss <laughs> in that <laughs> case, and that's kind of what you want if you're a Lesh at the early stages of the game. But it doesn't look like any kill attempts will come anytime soon. As Bat Rider with this amazing cosmetic, by the way, that is a really good one. Nice little gas mask. Going to use Firefly to steal some XP from Navi Solo. He is level three, and I looked at the levels. Kunkka, well, he was level three at the time, but level four right now. Um, is leveling X and Torrent, so not going to be going any in Tideburn. I guess that's pretty normal for a support Kunkka. Yes. I'm wondering what meantime. he'll get next. I'm curious to see what No-Tail's approach is. I think he's going to level X over Torrent. You could say now there's some more merit to leveling the Torrent since X is always 4 seconds, right? But the cast range, I still think getting it up to 750 is a huge difference from the 550. But after that, you might yeah. 
prioritize the torrent point over the X point level four. I'm trying to remember the old we'll ranges. I know it didn't start at 350, that's for sure. It was like 500 or 600 range, level one. Uh, what was it? And it went it up was... a little bit slower. But now it's like I think a it was drastic five... change. Was it 550 plus 150 per level? What would that be? No, that would be too high. Maybe 100 500 per level. plus 150 per level, I think. So 650, okay. 700, 800, 850. I think that's how it was. So the yeah. current level 2 is the old level 1 plus a bit. I mean, we saw Kunkka right. played yesterday by Sing Sing, but that was a core Kunkka, right? So this is yeah. completely different. I and I think, right obviously, now. the X marks, I think, would be more beneficial, the changes, that is, for a support, especially in the early, early stages I of the game. I agree with that. Yeah. But also the solo mid Kunkka, we talked about the plays with just porting back and refilling your bottle, that you can do that really early, especially now with Bottle Crowing being nerfed even more. It's actually an interesting prospect for the mid lane. Oh, puppy. You're dead. There's the split earth. Finish him off is solo. Him. Feeling real good about himself. Even though that is... I feel like this is the Jay Leno of of Dota 2. That chin is enormous. Big Daddy knows I'm not going to get latched to this only tree in the river. The Christmas tree, if you will. And that's going to be an easy kill going the way of Navi yet Do again. Do the presents disappear if the tree goes down? No. Of course not. Good. You can't steal Christmas from Dota. <laughs> Can you or shackle from... to the presents? You can shackle to it. That would be great. <laughs> that would be his... hilarious. <laughs> Top lane, we have gets a TP support on no tail. Sprout's probably going to be used. Or not Sprout, X marks the spot going to be used shortly. On Funic. They don't have enough damage, though, like you talked about. Funic, level 8 at the moment, has one dual kill from that power shotting Dendi from across the map. We have a smoke, but good map awareness from Funic going to stick by the tower. We have a. S4 is really dead. Oh, well, Goblik might have just given it away a little bit there with that aggression, but no, oh, Dendi will still get the shackle. And Kvost easy easily shackle. Easily catch up. Very easy. Reality. Okay. There you go. TP support. Coral might get a turnaround here. Is he going to try it? Yes, he will. Oh, oh nice stun this time around. He's going to go. He's going really deep. He's trying to kill Sol. He's going to get at least a consolation kill, but will find his way to the grave as well. So it's that a two for one really overall. not worth it. I think at some attack. point he committed. He figured he was going to die anyway. Might as well go for it. But the second well, when remnant, he threw the second spirit, when he yeah. threw the second spirit, Radiant's he kind of invested a lot. But before that, he had every oh, chance in the world to get out. Oh, last rack. <laughs> wrong place at the wrong time with that TP. Split Earth will miss, and it'll transition into a tier one push top. Well, he did come back to life. <laughs> He just got killed by Ember Spirit and just poured Radiant's into top two top heroes top. A little bit of a weird top. play here. Well, he didn't this see no tail on the river, see. obviously. So, well played by him. Look at the... God, I can't get over how long that power shot is. It's so disgusting. No fortify. Maybe fortify was down. Fallen. I didn't see, actually. The prize is mine. But Probably going to continue to roam level 5 versus level 5 on Kunkka. They are exactly Dyer's the same level. As 4 He's going to get Chaos Bolt. He's going to try to Reality Rift this on top of the... No. Oh, he, he did make it on top of him. He's going to use Lasso to try to get out of this. Might try to put Kobos onto the cliff. He does not. Kobos bottling up. And I hear an arrow. It is actually going to hit Funic, but no kills will come from this. Have we noticed, or I guess for you, have you noticed the difference with Reality Rift? I think the bonus damage at level 4 is the same as it used to be, right? It's just... Uh, it's it 20 starts. higher. It is 20 here, so it used to be 100 max? Okay. It used to be 25 plus 25 per level. Oh, Shackle, not gonna land. It's a lot better. I want to say the mana cost reduction is the bigger buff. Although the damage on early levels is of course great. It's still Daya's just, this hero was starving for mana early on in the game. And it, it really helps a lot getting that extra 20 mana per cast, uh, per cast of, the, of the reality rift, so. How's well, it going, Cinderin? How are you? Let's talk pause. about your life. Let's talk about your personal life. Good. Let's eat some bugles together. Mm. So for those of you who don't know, when you eat bugles, Cinderin didn't know this. The rule is you have to put it on your finger for it to taste better. Otherwise, it's just like another kind of like a chip thingy. You know, it's just a typical snack. But bugles are unique because you can eat it off your finger. Can you actually, it's... do you actually eat snacks like that while you use the computer? Like, I can't stand having my hands feel disgusting like that. Yeah. Really? So basically, your computer setup is disgusting. <laughs> no, not really. I just don't get that greasy fingers because I'm really cautious with how I grab the chip. You know, it's like, it's a skill. Do you grab it filthy, with your mouth? F filthy Americans like you have no idea how to eat food, right, in general. You how get do you all not get your hands shit. dirty? I don't get it. Because I'm, I'm grabbing it properly. 
very... It's not like I'm lathering myself up in butter before I... I don't know. I have, I have an idea of how you grab chips. Instead of, like, taking the front chip out of the bag, you, like, l you launch in your entire arm into the back, <laughs> of the back of the bag, and then you grab whatever you can get, and they're like, yes, I got one. Well, like here a in America, you can't get enough food, and you can't get it fast enough. I mean... And you can't get it greasy enough either. I've learned that the hard way as well. What did you eat so, that you thought was super greasy, though? Some of the burgers were pretty greasy. What, like Carl's Jr.? Well, that wasn't the worst one. It was a really greasy one. I think one of the In-N-Out burgers was really greasy, wasn't it? I can't, I can't remember other um, foods. Though. Well, I can't remember all I the choices I love it, had. though. I really like fat foods, so I don't mind it personally. Uh, oh, yeah, when I was in that bowling alley, and we got this, this platter of different snacks, and your... Um, <laughs> Ch uh, chili cheese fries? No, they weren't that bad. The the oh. the pretzels you had. The what? The pretzels in that box. The breadstools? Or the pretzels? You call them pretzels? They're called brezel. It's a German thing, right? Brezel. The bre <laughs> brezel. <laughs> You're literally every German word I <laughs> up to you just butcher it. I can't help it. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, those pretzels were extremely greasy. Like brezel is supposed to be crispy. It's bread. It's like bread that breaks. It's either crispy or it's well, you know, there's two kinds of pretzels, right? There's it's bread like. There's the crunchy no, pretzels, not -like. which you buy in the store. Then there's the bread pretzels, which. Yeah, and that you one was a third fresh. category. That was like grease pretzels. Alright, but you're, you're comparing. You can't. How do I explain this? You can't bowling rate that. Don't yeah, count. A bowling alley pretzel, <laughs> you shouldn't really. You know, that's not American food. I'm judging well, okay, your entire. <laughs> If you go to like, uh, oh, what's that pretzel place called that I love? Wetzel Pretzel? That place is legit! You get hot dogs wrapped in pretzel bread? God, it's good. Mm. That doesn't sound too bad. That's a it pretty good so idea. It is so good. I like God, the sound I'm of that. Fat. I am, I've become really <laughs> fat in my life. Once you hit a certain, like, I used, I've always eaten, like, garbage, because I live in America and it's pretty much impossible, right? Oh, so you just said, okay, that was what I was bringing up, and you said I was wrong. No, it's... I'm just saying, okay, yeah, as far as how unhealthy things are, you can compare that to Bowling Alley, that's fine. But taste-wise, you can't compare the Bowling Bowling Alley is garbage. But yeah, I think we once you hit a certain We got some really good food over there. Not judging that, by the way. Like, the, the taste of everything was really good. Krispy Kreme. It, it's a different level of greasiness and fats and sugars over there, but it really tastes good, some of it. We so got I tried to go on a diet yeah. where I don't eat bread, which you suggested to me. It's basically impossible in America. That wasn't that difficult. It was very difficult. Uh, everything I guess it depends I eat what has stores you it. live next to. Right? If you don't have access to well, like a healthy, to different kinds of stuff. Healthy store? No, it doesn't even need to be that, right? Because that diet we were talking about, the keto diet, is only... Like, the only rule of the diet is that you can't eat a lot of carbs. So it's not a no-bread diet, it's a no-carb diet, but you can still eat, like, eggs and cheese and sausage and well, all see, sorts of meat. See, that's the thing. I, I can't eat eggs, so basically it's You can eat meat bacon and, all and the time. Cheese. Egg and bacon. What's not to like? I said I can't eat eggs. It's a personal problem. That's a problem. problem. That's true. That's a pretty uh, big problem so with that diet, actually. There's an egg yeah. and a lot of it. Exactly. So, that's so all a good I can point. eat is meat and cheese, and that blocked me up pretty good, I have to say. <laughs> uh, and, of course, it doesn't taste nearly as good without bread. Because bread is the essence of life, as I like to say. But that's another... How did we get on this conversation? I guess this is a typical Dota Cinema pause. Yep, the horse just on time, Misery. Thank you. Dendi. We're going to segue into the game now, by the way. Randomly. Dendi has a, a blink dagger. Did the stream go down or something? I think we're good. Sindarin, are you there? Yeah. Okay, just making sure... Yeah, I didn't lag out. Pepto Bismol. No, that's not correct. It's cherry Pepto. Oh, that's how can you get that wrong? wrong? My goodness. <laughs> I, I swear. wonder if the other language casters think I'm being serious. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what this Pepto Bismol is. Why are they sponsoring the tournament? <laughs> Apparently, they can't find it in Europe for the most part. Yeah, but... I never heard of it until you brought it up and you were like, this is but wait, wait, a wait. godsend I asked, gift. I asked Bruno this. You guys do have, like, pink stuff, though. Right? It's just a different brand, I think. Because Pepto is its a pink bottle. You guys have something like that. It's just not called Pepto. But Pepto is the original. Those are just imitations. It's never as good as the original. What is this pause about, anyway? Net issues? 
Oh, we could play four and five without Frost if you want. Sure. I mean, it's like four without four on five. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So Quite zero on five. All right, let's. I guess we can get back. You into sure the, the stream game. is okay, by the way? Cause no, I don't. I don't think it is actually. Yeah, it's it's down. It seems. Okay. They have to refresh the stream to get it back. I guess. Good thing it's during a pause. <laughs> I don't know why it would go down. That's odd. Man, they're rioting. They are rioting online. Is your stream working? Is it the uh, one? Yes, it's back up now. Okay, so hopefully good. it's good. Welcome back, guys. We had a... You missed this... the best piece of conversation ever about American food. Yeah, but the people and... in Dota TV have heard everything, and yeah. that's what you get for buying a ticket, I guess. Yeah. You get good conversation. Ticket reward right there. <laughs> Worth the eight bucks, you get to hear us rant about food and diets. <laughs> that's what I watch Dota for. Yeah, pretty much. Ooh, is that the platinum? Or is that the diamond? I guess it's diamond. Which one do I have? I have platinum. Wait, that is... Wait, was that the same? I don't know. I can't tell. I think that look might be. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I've got a dirt one. Oh my god, yours is awful. <laughs> yeah, mine's different. <laughs> mine's different than the other one. So that was diamond. This is platinum. I think there's one higher. No, diamond is the highest. Damn it. They look so similar. Alright, let's look at the cosmetics while we have some time, I guess. Um, no tail, sporting a the sin, sing sing head conca piece, and then I think those are the shoulder pieces as well, but this beautiful fur thing, I don't know what you call it, that is the Kunkka Kunkka. The Kunkka Kunkka? The Kunkka Kunkka. Looking real good. Any other cool sets going on? Undying's got nothing. He has the tombstone. CK. When okay. I click CK and check his items, he has Kunkka's items. Uh, mine are just blue. <laughs> what the hell? They're just, they're just blue. It's showing boxes. Kunkka's items when I inspect Frost. I was like, he's not wearing this helmet. Uh, do the others work? Okay, Lesh works. I'm trying... Okay, Frost does nothing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, his disruptor mount was nice. This LC is using the Arcana with some other items. Looks pretty cool. I like this. I think this headpiece has different styles too. You can open the helm and whatnot. That's a really good set. And Marana Mount is ours. And then I believe this is Anuxis. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's Anuxis. The rest of it. I can't remember who did this Batrider set, but it is legit. The gas mask is so good, and the canister on the back. Freaking love it. If only he could change the bat mount to be just a gasoline canister as well. As well, just a, a floating, floating canister. You have like no limits for immersion in this game. You couldn't care less. <laughs> it's it's actually a hundred percent true. Like if he had, if he was riding a rocket, I'd be fine with that. No problem. Looks cool. Sounds cool. And the funny thing is, most people would say they disagree with me until something comes out, then they get used to it, then they don't care anymore. Mm, uh, what do bugles. you think of custom spell icons? Do you have a problem with them at all? I've heard some complaints about that too. Mm. I think it's a problem if the custom spell icons are so different from the original ones that they're hard to distinguish from each other. Or Why? What I, no, that that Why was the wrong matter? way of saying it. No, not that. If they're... Okay, let me try again. If they're so different from each other that you can't tell what spell is affecting you, that's kind of annoying, I guess I could say. Because, I mean, the logic that goes for cosmetic items is that no matter how, much, how you dress up the hero, the hero is still identifiable, right? You can tell that even though Batrider has a gas mask on, you can see that it's Batrider, right? Mm, but if you take if you take now. a spell... Yeah, for now. Okay, let's for say... Now. 
I wouldn't say anything, everything that came out in the game, there's nothing that changes the hero so drastically that you can't identify them. I would say that. That's my perspective on it. So if you take a spell icon that is supposed to look like a rain of arrows and you turn it into a machine gun, then mm -hmm. people won't know what it is on initial, on first look, right? Well, it's At in the same time. slot so, that it's always in, though. The only time I would agree sure, with yeah, you is Yeah, for the one who has the it's... items, that doesn't matter. But let's say I cast... Uh, okay, let me give you another, another example. I cast Venomous Gale on you. But no. my Venomous Gale looks like a fireball. The spell you're talking, icon. Are you, you're talking about the little... The little icon, debuff, debuff icon, icon that shows... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that should definitely not be changed from the I original. Can, uh, okay, I am usually on the other fence from you, but I will agree with that one. When it's a debuff icon, okay, it should that be the original. I thought what you were talking about. No, I'm talking about just the general skill icons. For yourself and your icons. own spell icons, I don't really think that matters. Well, but so you much. say it's for yourself, but other people can click on you and they still see the other icons, which I think oh, is sure. fine. Oh, sure, but then you know what hero it is, and then you mouse over the ability and see which one it is. Like, right, right. I would say the only people this would then affect are the ones that aren't familiar with what abilities the hero has yet, and then they wouldn't be familiar with it anyway before you redid right. the icon, right? Yeah. So... I, I don't really feel like there's anything lost. I'm fine there. with that. I'm fine so, with that. Uh, that's okay. But the debuff icon, I think, is pretty important. So I'm going to make a prediction. So remember when this, this whole thing started a couple hours ago? A couple hours. A couple years ago with the cosmetics. People... Is he actually getting DDoSed? That's unfortunate. Uh, people were very scared of the slippery slope mentality into the lull items, which... It's been a very slow progression, but things are starting to get crazier. I'm going to say within one year, there's going to be a hero in the game that's the opposite sex. What do you think about that? Like actually... cosmetics that change your gender? Yes. I don't think so. You don't think so? I think the sets are going to get crazier and more different, but still identifiable characters. But I don't think they'll change the gender, because then I they mean, need to revoice the hero as well, right? That's then that the only, cosmetic item needs to have a Do you think that's the only the limitation pack. then? That's the only problem? Is that they redo the, the voice? That's one of them, right? They need to redo the voice. Then there's the whole, does it fit the character? Like, the way the character is, is, the way the character is built, would it make sense that Crystal Maiden is a man? Yes. Like, do you, what would you call him then? Chris, well, Crystal imagine, Virgin, and then he's running around the jungle, or what? Like, imagine Lesh is a woman. Yeah, it's some like, heroes it fits better than others, gonna be hideous. but I don't think you could... You know. It's a hideous woman <laughs> instead of a hideous man. So Princess Theradras. And she could still keep the beard if she wants on Lesh, that's fine. No problem with that. Yeah, no, you're down with that. I don't know, He's I think some heroes you could do it on... I think Io could get a gender change, that would be okay. And Enigma. Hmm. But... <laughs> Io. I, I'm how, not, do you, I'm... how do you gender change Io, exactly? <laughs> Just, took you a while. Just slap a big penis. That's, well, that's instead the of having balls spinning around it, it would have something else, I guess. Oh, that's actually See? quite clever. Samir. Yeah. Very nice. I hope that set would so never in, make it into <laughs> Instead of balls, it'll be fleshlights, is what you're saying, <laughs> oh surrounding the hero. <laughs> Uh, Alright, what's so you tell know the us worst the thing rules. about this is if Danadem is watching this guy, he's a really good artist in Dota 2, and he is obsessed with drawing penises, right? No, so they're he penises. Would make they're them. not penises. They're penises. The penis. He types it with two ends. Oh, he does penis. it with two ends. Okay, so yeah. penny. Yeah. No, yeah, he would yeah, draw Danny that for you. I swear he would make that. Yeah, he would. But. Yeah. I, I, I'm not really buying it, because I think for many of the characters, actually... Oh, you're going to really... buy it <laughs> when it's out. You're going to buy uh, it, trust me. Uh, I see what you did, but I want to say for many of the characters, the gender actually play a big role in how they've been cast, not only in terms of voice, but also the whole, like, the character itself, it does mm. play a role for some of them. So. I can agree for some of some them, Some are possible. I, I, I would say some happen. would hurt way less than others, but I'm not a fan of it in general, the idea. You're not a but fan that was of also not what you asked. You asked whether I thought it would happen, I, and yes. I would say this is one of the things where Valve will not allow that to happen. I think they have a very clear stance on that, but we'll see. I, I guess we'll see. We'll see in a year, if we remember this conversation. Uh, what are the rules on disconnections and how long and all that stuff? Do we have rules? You made them up if you did. On which one? Sorry, which thing? How long we wait if we ever go four v five, which would suck. Well, this is not this is not covered in the rules actually. There's no limit on that because I feel like the whole disconnection thing is very very situational and putting a time rule on it doesn't really make sense because the cases vary a lot. Mm. Um, we're gonna reach a point when common sense pushes us in a direction, but for now we're gonna wait. This also hasn't been a problem the whole tournament. I want to point out we've had very minimal issues. Yeah. Um, 
but unfortunately right now Host is struggling getting back into the game. But luckily we can talk about nothing forever. This is like a Seinfeld episode that never ends. <laughs> you want to talk about Pepto-Bismol again? Always love talking about Pepto with you. What's your... when you visit the US, what's your favorite part about it? If there is mm. one. <laughs> Maybe you hate it, I don't know. Uh, the appetizers. Yeah, you. I guess I should preface this by saying, Cinderin, he doesn't realize how much food you get when you order a meal here. It's like 10 times more than anywhere in Europe, apparently. So he always goes for an appetizer. Because he does eat a lot, I have to say, you do eat a lot. Was there uh, ever a time I didn't eat up? Eat up? Is that what you call it? Finish my meal? Finish your meal? I don't think so. Even with appetizers. But would you not be full if you didn't get an appetizer? Or you just like force it down? Well, it's... Okay, the time that we were closest, that I was closest to not finishing was at that... Uh, what was it called? BJ's? Where they had those ribs, and I got a full rack of that. Yeah. And, and an also, and before that, I got an appetizer, and then we also got pizuki afterwards. Then I was oh, really yeah. full. That was <laughs> the ribs were the end of the ribs was difficult, but a half half a rack I would have wanted more, I think. So, I could have caught out the appetizer and been full, sure. But for so me, going, to, for me going to restaurants is a lot about the experience. It's not just about you know, not a, just about getting full. I like trying different food. It's like one of my favorite things actually to do. Love going out to eat. So whenever I'm at a restaurant, love trying multiple things if I can. So. Mm -hmm. That plays into it a lot for me. I know you just go to a restaurant. You're like, how can I, I just fold the stuff easiest my here? Face. Oh. <laughs> I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> Give me all you got. Well, I don't get appetizers though, so I don't know. You eat more than me. You honestly eat more than me. Way more. Yeah. When you're in America, I don't know about uh, when you're back home, but yeah. Basically, in a nutshell, America's fat, and I'm one of them. I'm an American. What can you do? Poor host. Yeah. He's calling his ISP, okay. Okay. Very good. Yeah. This is one of those unfortunate situations, but I, I feel like... With how much is on the line here, and... The fact that it's the first time happening for, for the team and everything, this is... This is worth waiting for. I want to put it that way. So hopefully he finds a solution and resolves it. If you ever get tired of talking, you can just put on the no, no music. music with silencer. I I like to talk. It's fine. I think people prefer when we instead of going to breaks. I guess we might as well update people while we're waiting. The ARDM. I know I'm, this is going to sound like I'm repeating myself, but believe me, there's people that uh, haven't heard us say this yet. So just in case, the ARDM All Star match has been moved. Uh, we won't get into the reasons because it's gonna. I'm gonna go off on a tangent here, but it'll be tomorrow before the grand finals, and it's only one match. It's not a best of three anymore. Um, and also for people that bought the compendium, um, I brought this up the other day as well. Unfortunately, we will not be able to put anything else into the compendium. I I was saying earlier that we were hoping to get something in, but it's not gonna happen, unfortunately. So hopefully. I still, like I said last time, I still think eight dollars for the compendium is still a pretty good deal compared to other things in the store. So I don't feel too bad about it, but it was something that we wanted to do, but it just wasn't realistic. So it's just the way it's gotta be. Oh, people are talking about your BJ's. Well, he really likes. I didn't them. name the restaurant; they did. Okay. <laughs> It's like the cheapest laugh you can get, apparently. So, there's a restaurant we used to go to called Bill Johnson's Big Apple. We just call it BJ's Big A. <laughs> that was a great place. Real nice. What's your favorite, uh... Favorite fast food that you've had here? What was it, again? Uh, favorite Not chain any... or favorite type? Favorite chain. Um, does Krispy Kreme count? No, but you can add that as a side one, I guess. Okay, that's honorable mention for fast food chains. Uh, I think In-N-Out was the best, right? I seem to recall uh, that. I hate Wasn't you. It? 
Okay. The Col uh, Colch Jr. was second, or well, maybe they were tied. Do you remember what ratings I gave? Yeah, on you, that food you thing? thought Taco Bell was probably the worst. I thought that uh, was okay. It wasn't right, so as awful to, as you guys made it I have to go off on a tangent here. Uh, Carl's Jr., we didn't get the stuff that we wanted. We ordered the $6 burger, and we got the crappy version of it. So that's one thing. Um, In-N-Out is the most... I'm not saying it's bad, but it is the most overrated fast food chain ever. It's I don't know what it is about that place. They have two burgers you can get, and then there's a secret menu. It's not even that good. It's okay. It's fine. And the, the fries are almost inedible. They're disgusting. I'm going to offend a lot of Californians right now. But luckily it's 10.50 <laughs> in the morning, so actually 9.50 there. <laughs> so nobody's up. <laughs> no one's awake. Uh, I don't know. From, from just off the top of my head, what I can remember is uh, Taco Bell was the worst. I rated Chipotle lower because of the particular meal I got. I think when you got when I got something I liked from Chipotle, it was actually really nice. I don't know if I'd call that so, a fast food, but it's it is a chain. Yeah, it's like borderline, but we tried it at least as a fast food. We called it that, but uh, I, would, I would say in and out and Wait, did you have Jack in the box? Yeah, we had Jack too. Or was we that breakfast that. or was that an actual oh, well, no, you got... How many times did we have Jack? That's know. true. Well, no, you had the ultimate cheeseburger. That's true. Yeah. That was pretty good. I I seem to recall that that was not as good as, I guess, Carl's and In-N-Out are the tier above Jack, mm. I would say. And by the way, there's actually a, a Carl's Jr. open close to where I live in Denmark, which is interesting. Is it called Carl's Jr. or Hardee's? It's Carl's Jr. It's really pretty recently opened. I went there and had a meal, and it was similar to what you got in, in the American one. Not identical. I think like the fast food chains don't... They obviously don't serve the exact same product in the different They hold countries. the grease and all that yeah, I lard. Think, I think ours is probably... I think it was, it, it just felt healthier, you know? I wish, Everything about it. I wish you could have come to Vegas with us. It's the only place that has this uh, new this chain called... It's not even a chain, I guess. It's the only location now. Um, it used to be in Arizona. Uh, the Heart Attack Grill. Have you heard about it? By any chance? No. So, if you go there and you... You actually weigh yourself outside. If you're 300 pounds or over, you get to eat for free. The meat is cooked with lard. Wait, how much do you need to eat, you say? No, no, if you weigh 300 pounds or more. If you're a fat pig and you go there, you eat for free, basically. What, what kind of concept is that? No, the con it's because it's it's called the Heart Attack Grill. And what? if you get, like, like, the burgers are called Double Bypass, Triple Bypass Burger, Quadruple Bypass... Um, if you eat, I can't remember if one of the meals, if you finish it, you get wheeled out in a wheelchair to your car. Um, the, the waitresses are dressed as nurses. Um, you get spanked if you don't finish your meal. Like they literally will get a paddle and spank you. Of course, it's up to you if you actually want to get spanked. I did not. Is, is th like, this is for real. Wait, okay, so where's the profit for them in having a lot of fat people go there to eat? Is that, I have that, no idea. That draws attention from slimmer people? Oh, I gotta go and see these it's fat just, people try to eat their meal or what? It's and like then they an buy experience. Drink. It's just an experience, you know? It's like, it's not... Well, they need to make a, a profit, right? Right, but like the whole idea behind it is that it's an unhealthy place. Like, they're not trying to hide it. Like, McDonald's and all these fast foods are like, Oh, you know, our meals might not want to eat it every day. You could get a salad with this. You can get... You know, a little apple crisp. Like, seriously, who introduced apple crisps to freaking McDonald's or whatever, these freaking fast food? This place is like, you know what? Screw it. If you want to eat here, you're going to become a fat pig. You're an American. They're going with that, base, that basic mentality. So, I mean, there's not that many people that are, well, I guess I don't know, 300 pounds and over? I don't know. I mean, there were some fat people there, but I didn't see that many people eating for free. It's like one did of those you, places you, you go for the experience. Did you see yourself having a future in there in five years? Uh, if... If I continue on this track, yeah, it'll be like two years from now. So, <laughs> gotta get that in check, bro. Oh, the yeah, free the, meals are kind of drawing you, aren't they? The meal wasn't... It's tempting. Wasn't that good, though. It was better... They used to have it in Arizona, but they were kicked out because people this were This sounds like mad. the most absurd concept I've ever heard. Not because of, like, how stupid it is, but how weird it is that they are basically paying you money to come eat there. Because they're giving you free food. Oh, but then they overprice fat, everything. Right? What's that? They, they overprice everything at the same time. Okay, so it evens out. But then the only reason that concept makes sense is if the slimmer people come there because there are fat people they're eating. Like, how is that reasonable? 
I it's understand. not reasonable. Check your PM, by the way. And for people that don't know, the heart attack grill, it actually... Uh, people have actually died there. <laughs> oh. I don't know why I'm laughing, but... Hey, if you're gonna go there and eat there constantly, you have to know that it's gonna probably happen, so... Alright, so let us know the update when you hear it, Cinderwin. Yeah, well, the update for now is that it seems like Hvost cannot come back on. Okay. So we're talking about options here. I'll let you know. Keep talking about food. You're doing great. Thank you. Well, the options, from my perspective, and I'm not really considered the admin since Cinderin is the head one, but if you want me to talk out loud, the options would be to remake at the same time, uh, or save the replay or whatever. Start at around 13 minutes with a stand-in in place of Hovost. I know other tournaments make them play out the rest of the game. But I don't even know if that's possible. I don't think someone else can play in their stead, can they? Does I'm that not work? Sure. I think the game crashes all the time and fucks up, and maybe you can't even start. I don't know. It's if been it's a possible... long time since I've loaded a game. I don't know what the possibilities are with it anymore. It's been so bugged in the past that tournaments try to avoid using it. Mm -hmm. If it's possible right. to do, that should be the top choice. I'd rather not do a 4v5 if we can help it. Um, and considering they're already using a stand-in, what would the rules be for getting a second stand-in? So the rules only allow you to get one stand-in, right? Yeah. But we have a section in the rules called force majeure, which basically means if something that's completely out of your control happens, we're judging it on a case-by-case -case basis, right? It doesn't make sense that if he's completely unable to reconnect because of an attack or his connection is just trashed or whatever for whatever reason, then it doesn't make sense for Navi to lose this game because he did show up, right? It's not that they can't field their players. Their players are here, but they can't play because of some some issue that's out of their hands, then we're gonna let them use two stand-ins. That's absolutely not. There's that is the solution to that. That's not the the problem here. The problem is if we can somehow keep this game going or not. And I'll look into it. Alright. Hopefully you guys appreciate this uh pause talking. <laughs> I think most other <laughs> Most of our other quote-unquote studios, I don't even know if we can call ourselves a studio, we're not really. Um, we'd probably go to commercial break or something, but I'd rather just... Oh, he's back in Skype! It could be happening! It could be happening! This would be like... This would be amazing. Having a 4v5 is just... Ugh, something I don't want to do, that's for sure. Solo disconnecting now. The thing that's bothered me the most is this 4 second cooldown on Midas, and even more so the 0.1 second cooldown on the channeling, or not cooldown, but the channeling time for Kunkka's TP. He's, he's about to leave us. Oh, I didn't notice. That looks pretty cool, actually. Almost looks like a sphere. What do you guys in chat think about um, tournaments changing the teleport color, or animations, or particle effects? Yeah, it's particle effects as well as blink particle effects. They did it for TI4, thought it was pretty cool, and it looks like another couple tournaments are gonna be doing the same. Pretty interesting. I do wonder from a consumer standpoint, player standpoint, how much they care about that stuff. Let me know in chat what you guys think. Just curious. What's going on, Cinderin? Talking about potential solutions if Frost can't come back still. So you're doing just keep talking. <laughs> just keep I hate talking. You. You're doing good. Let's see if I have any stories. I need to focus on this. This is a little more important right now. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, you need to yeah, keep the company. Is. I wish I had stories that were appropriate to tell. Oh boy, I don't really have anything coming to mind, unfortunately. Unless you guys want me to talk about the game, but I don't think that's really what's wanted here. Is Steam actually offline? Is that for real? I think so. I don't know. Global silence. Oh yeah, what do you guys think about um, that movie? What's it called? 
that movie that was the excuse me the interview being banned from theaters well I don't know if banned is the right word but being pulled out I guess and then Obama had a speech yesterday saying that it was the wrong move so I wonder what Sony does now this is like unprecedented territory this is it's pretty insane never heard of that ever happening before not even close other dictators forcing the US or any other country to basically censor themselves <laughs> It's so weird to think about that that's actually what happened. Of course it was... No, they're saying Steam is down now too. Good timing. Good timing! But that movie does look entertaining. Google says it's down. Must be right then. Steam is down. Yep. I'm looking on my screen right now. Is steamdown.com. So even if his internet was working, they still wouldn't be able to reconnect, obviously. So I guess we're just going to chillax for a bit. All right, the chat is finally catching up to my questions. Oh yeah, there was Dagon effects too. That's right. I forgot about that. Doesn't seem like people care that much about the effects. I kind of agree. As a player, I don't see that much value in the blink and TP particle effects. If you guys have any questions, by all means, we'll just do a little Q&A session since I have nothing to talk about now. I mean, I'm sure I have plenty of just awful stories, but Damn, I don't want to say that I still have enough stream. bugles for... I can go for hours. God. At this point, I would really like to have a portable toilet. Not a porta potty An actual toilet that's inside my seat. That's the dream. I think that's everybody's dream, though. I think I speak for pretty much everybody watching. Imagine the possibilities. And the funny thing is we've actually gained viewership since we since this pause started. <laughs> that's, that's a great sign, guys. People love food. That's a good thing to talk about. It's something everyone can relate to one way or the other. Yeah. In well, contrast to a lot of other things you used to bring up. True. I, I asked this pregame, but there weren't that many people watching. Uh, if we do future renditions of this tournament, which is never a solid thing, of course, um, you can never predict the future, but do you guys actually care about production value? Like, I know it's like looked at, oh, that's pretty cool, but does it actually matter to you? Like us talking in between breaks like this or during the game with pauses with nothing really flashy to show, do you guys actually care? I mean, on some some end, I'm like, yeah, this this fills a a niche or a niche, as you like to say, the captain's draft, and it kind of fits in with that style that is very casual in nature. But do you think if we added production value somehow, it would actually matter at all? I don't know. That's that's what I I'd guess like it, to you know. should specify. You mean for this type of tournament, right? No, just in well, for, yeah, this for... tournament specifically, but it's a, kind of a general question. Like, do they care about production? value that much for a LAN event as well is, are you well, including no. that or you no, just mean online? online you mean online, online tournaments online. yes okay because all right because else I think you know if you want my two well I guess your two cents are not worth two cents Cinderin how about that huh huh okay I have bugles they're worth two cents what do you have oh that's mm. uh, kind of want to go to the, I had I would have had time to go to the store and get bugles if I wanted to So is there any, is it just Steam? Is Kavos internet fine now? What's the deal? No updates from, from you? What have you been doing this uh, whole time? Well, just eating bugles? He can't connect to Steam, but... If he can't connect to Steam, we'll know after that. 
Yeah. You see, yeah. Solo is out too. He said, "Be right back and disconnect it." And then Steam was down, so he can't come in either. Yeah. Uh, but the way we're gonna do go about this is we're obviously hoping they can reconnect first off. If they can't do that, we'll try loading. And if Kvost can't play that game, we will load with a stand-in, which is entirely possible. We'll remake the game. I guess we'll... So that is possible to do? Yeah. I, I was talking to Matt about it. So that, that should okay. work just fine, he says. And um, the timer is right now 13.01. So I do believe we have a save point at 13. It saves every full minute, unless I'm yeah, mistaken. Yeah, but we should let this go like 10 to 15 seconds more, just because... Uh, I was watching a game recently where they did it at like two seconds after, and it only could load the minute before. So we okay, should let so this 11, go a bit. That would be. No, it would be twelve. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, you're right. Um. So we should. If, so we're if gonna that do, comes to the point, we should unpause for like in, ten seconds. We load. If most can't join the load, we take a stand-in for the load. If the load crashes repeatedly, we'll have to full remake the game because I think it's completely unfair to either team to call this a game. It's dead even, 13 minutes in. No one is winning this game right now. So Do we do a, that's that the, means a redraft as well? Yeah, that would be a full remake with new heroes as well. I think it makes no sense to have like a 45 minute break in a game and then remake AP. Mm -hmm. uh, that's strange. So that's, so that's, but that's the ultimately scenario. last solution is to full remake. We're trying to avoid it at all costs, but if everything else fails, that's what we're gonna have to do. So. Well, production value doesn't necessarily mean webcam. I mean, I can turn the webcam on. It might even be on tomorrow a bit. Um, I wouldn't call that production value at all. <laughs> wow. Like, oh, production value, ne they negative. have a webcam. <laughs> ne negative production yeah. value. It would be negative production value if the camera was on me. That's, that is definitely true. Uh. I, I'm not. I'm not sure what you expected though when you said you guys. Do you think production value is important? Yes or no? And there's forty thousand people watching, and they're just spamming yes and no. How are you gonna? Get oh, any I, sort I of have a great reasonable... eye for this thing because I already know the answer is no. <laughs> Basically. So why did I you mean, ask? And are you it, sure? Because I'm trying to fill time with me talking. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> yeah, I think most people don't actually care. I mean, when it happens, it'll be a big deal for a day, then nobody cares anymore. That's how I honestly feel about it. I think it's cool. If you can get away with it, if you can, like, if we had all the tools to do that, sure. We do that, but unfortunately for us, we're not just doing a tournament. We're doing a lot of other stuff as well. And it's not the most feasible thing at the moment. Plus, I think it kind of fits with the tournament, particularly, so. Come on, talk. I, I was actually listening to the, the crickets in the game. It's perfect. I don't know if you can hear that. Very <laughs> nice. Wait, is it on the whole map? Hold on. Quiet down. Oh. It's on the... It's like on the Radiant side only. Interesting. Did you know that? What, You're where a pro are we player, you about? should know the sound cues. Radiant side of the map has a cricket. Where? Everywhere. What? And the dire doesn't. Can you hear that? What do you mean, no? I can't hear it, I think, with my current sound levels. Turn it up. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> Only in Captain's Row. Okay, oh, I hear go. it very clearly right now. Alright, go to Dire. You're saying only in the Radiant Jungle. Yeah, exactly. I feel like the Dire should I have somebody... I actually never noticed uh, that, but the Dire one has, like, wind. It shouldn't be right? wind. It should be somebody whispering sweet nothings into your ear. Right, this is something I never noticed, but you're right. It's game breaking. They have different sound cues. I have no idea how this actually impacts the game, in your opinion. But it's crucial. No it's like wonder if you're people not prefer sure, radiant. If you're not sure if you're in the radiant or dire jungle, you can just listen and find out which jungle yeah, you're in. If instead you play of looking with the blindfold, the then 
you'll have sound cues for you guys out there. That's if true. Any challenge. That is. Is Steam still down? <laughs> God help us. Gaben, help us, please. Praise Gaben. Is that what we've come to now? What else can we do, honestly? We could talk about, ba hey, if we talked about basketball, I could fill in eight hours straight of basketball talk, but unfortunately, you don't know anything about it. You know, previously, guys, when we were wanting to do stretch goals, because that was the original intent, actually, is to have stretch goals in the tournament. One of them was to have Cinderin come to the U.S., to my house, and it would be a challenge, a a physical challenge. <laughs> God, it sounds so gay. It would be a physical <laughs> challenge of sorts, but it would be basketball would be one of them, a 1v1 in basketball, a 1v1 in ping pong, and 1v1 in pool. And you would obviously destroy me in pool. Uh, basketball, I hope to God I would beat you. That would be embarrassingly bad. <laughs> and ping pong, you were a little bit better than me at TI. It's because I'm, okay. I'm past my prime at ping pong, but I used to be good. A little bit, sure. It's I, I injured my wrist way back when from all <laughs> gaming, and it's really affected my ping pong. Which you call table tennis. Yes, table tennis. I don't like that. It's ping pong. I don't know right, why, that's... and if I'm wrong, I think we've had this conversation before. Yes. I think I told you what ping pong is in Europe, and I don't remember if I misunderstood or if I was right in some way, in one way or the other. What I think of ping pong as, from a European standpoint, at least from a Danish one, right? I can't speak for all countries, but ping pong for me is the table tennis game where you have to hit your own side first. You have to hit your own side first. Yeah, so every shot is a serve. I don't I, know where I have that from, but I'm almost positive that there's some sort of game like that, and we call that ping pong. So you have to serve all the time against each other. So I serve, and then you hit your own side, and then my side again. What kind of an awful game is that? Um, Let's take ping pong and make it worse. That's I actually the game? think... <laughs> yeah, well, I can't imagine it being better either. But when you start thinking about how do you win a point in that game, you might think, wow, it's really hard because you can't play aggressively, but then you play a shitload of spin instead, right? So it's very I difficult for the other player to hit his own side, and if you make a very short ball, it's almost impossible to hit your own side first and then get it over the net again. See, I'm I'm a very aggressive so. player, so I would not enjoy that game. Oh, I I'm know that. A, I'm not I know a spin that. Kind of I, I, how many times did I hit you with that ping pong ball? Even if it didn't, you know, honestly, that's the greatest thing about it. Even if I don't get the point, if I hit you with the ball, it's still a win in my book. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a fun game. I enjoy it. You would love boxing, I think. No. I don't think so. Even if you don't win the game, as long as you hit the other guy, you can... Well, maybe virtual boxing would be fun, like Wii Boxing or something. <laughs> Wii Boxing. That game was horrid. Absolutely horrid. Uh, for those of you out there that don't know, the best game of all time was in fact Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! So, in oh, case you haven't God. played it before, it's legit. I've told you, I've showed you that blindfolded run, right? Yeah, that's impressive. That shit is so unbelievable. And it's apparently love... not possible to kill Mike Tyson blindfolded. It's the only it character is, that's It is, but your RNG. chances are extremely low. Right, well, basically not possible. It's theoretically possible. But I love watching the games done quick. There's two per year. There's the awesome games done quick in, I think it's January, and then there's the summer games done quick in, I think, June. So mm. I think awesome games done quick is coming again soon. I'm going to be watching the shit out of that. So good. It's like one of my favorite things on Twitch. Um, yeah, it was quite And if you're not familiar with it, what it basically is, is it's a lot of speedrunners from all over the world that come together and speedrun games for charity, basically. And people donate to their favorite games to see different kinds of, of tricks. And of course, the, the games are just run flat out, right? And then you can donate for some specific things that you want to see some extras, some different kinds of strategies or weird shit. And, it gets it gets reach most of the time. And it's really really enjoyable to watch these people because they're just extremely good at their games. Even if you don't know the games, it's very very entertaining to see them run through it. So, and it's for a good cause. I think last time, um, what was it they had? What did they raise? Was it on the summer games done quick? They raised a really big amount. I can't remember what exactly it was. Um, You're asking the wrong guy. 
something is telling me that they raised was it a million dollars or what really i can't remember it was a really it might not be that high maybe i'm remembering it wrong let me see oh summer games done quick 2014. uh oh puck donation so portal. seductive in your ways okay let's see here it might be Okay, S Summer Games Done Quick raised over $713,000. So. And My Awesome goodness. Games Done Quick 2014, which is the the winter one this year, raised a million thirty-one thousand one hundred fifty-nine bucks. So that was over a million. That's what they beat this year. All right, I'm going to do something Sorry, super man. unprofessional, Cinder, and I'm going to go take a leak. This is okay. this is what you guys get for Dota Cinema production quality right here. Uh, well, and didn't actually, you just I say we would have you on webcam? I could... I can arrange that actually. Sorry, I was stretching. Uh, so by the time I get back, I expect it to be unpaused, and I'm just gonna be looking at this effigy. So BRB, enjoy Cinderin. Hey everybody, I'm not gonna talk about basketball because because I don't really know that much about it and not that interested. What I what I can tell you about is bugles. These chips are really freaking good. I mentioned them a couple of times on the cast. No, they're not sponsoring the tournament. Neither is Pepto Bismol, but Sunsan keeps bringing it up anyway for some reason. Um, I would definitely recommend it to you, though. If you have nothing to snack on right now, this is a good way of spending your time while watching anything or waiting for the game to come up again. Getting some snacks is should not be underestimated. Um, it's keeping me going right now. Kind of need a new glass of water as well. I'm drying out, so I'll very quickly get that, and then hopefully Sunspan is back because I really don't know what to talk about right now. So give me a minute. Have you been talking? You're just eating dinner? Okay, cool. Cool stuff. Cinder actually abandoned you guys. That's pretty, no, that's, I did that's talk, cool. but then I got some water. Are you mm. still eating bugles? No, I talked about bugles before, but this is actually not a bugle. So, we baked Christmas biscuits today. Oh! And there's this, I don't know what it's called in English, but in Danish it's vanilla kanse, so you know vanilla exactly what it is. Excellent, once again, you're really good okay. at this. It's like these small rings, rings of dough with vanilla taste. It's extremely good. And I just, I just noticed them on my way over to get a glass of water, and I had to get one. How extremely are you not good. fat? For all the fat people around the world, I'm disgusted with you. It's... First of all, I think I have a good, what's that called, metabolism? Metabolism. I have a good metabolism, I guess. And I, even though you see me, you feel like I eat a lot, because you see when I eat a meal and I eat a lot, I don't necessarily eat four meals a day, though. True. So, even if I eat a lot, sometimes I don't, I think over the, my average over days is not that high. Mine is. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that I'm would so explain bad. things, I guess, if you feel like you're gaining weight, that could right. could be the reason. My New Year's resolution but... is to lose some weight. And fortunately for me, that's not for another uh, 11 days, so I can continue to be fat before my New Year's resolution starts. That's how it works. Right? Has Resolution officially joined Empire? Because else that would be like the perfect punchline for him joining the team. <laughs> Seriously, though. I that would be a good punchline. How is that a good punchline? <laughs> I New Year's you, resolution, I, and they announce it on New Year's. How's oh, that not amazing? On actual New Year's, you mean? Yeah, how's that not extremely cool? Eh. Okay, extremely cool might be overstating it a little bit. I think you're How's that not a good it. pun? Okay, it's a it's a good pun, but you you oversold it, I feel. Big yeah, time. I, I did, I killed it. I mean, the bugles, on the other hand, that was something you, I have no problem with you being exciting about, excited about. That was perfectly fine. 
What is the status on this game? Or on this on Steam? I can't go um, to the website, so somebody has to tell me. Steam is down dot com. I feel like a better guess would be is Steam down? Because if there's a homepage called Steam is down, it's just gonna always say Steam is down. Right? Wait, it's called Steam. Oh, is Steam down? <laughs> That's right. right. Steamisdown.com. Yes. 100%. <laughs> Surprise. All right. It looks like it is having issues at the moment. So. It's good timing, I guess. <laughs> North Korea is at it again, guys. This time it's Dota they're targeting. Sony's first, Valve is second. Makes sense. I'm sure there's a lot of. Kim Jong Un uh, names and people have been using. Did you Would call be surprised. Him Kim Jong? Is it Kim Jong Un? Kim right? Jong. Okay, good. I thought you called him Kim Jong. Kim Jong. Yeah, that, that's his. <laughs> that's Kim his Jong American Un. name. Kim Jong. What's up, bro? Nice to meet you. He's good friends with uh, Dennis Rodman, who you don't know because you don't know anything about basketball. You know, you can dribble though. You know, dribbling and and dunks. And this is shooting. interesting, actually, um, for me. Sorry, not the basketball. Not that's not interesting for me. But yeah, I know. There's someone in chat asking if I have any advice if you're moving to Denmark from the U.S. And I don't. I'm not really sure because I feel like that's an extremely broad question. But it's interesting to think about, or at least talk about how. Because we talked about how it is for me being in the states, but I don't really know. You've never been to Denmark, right? You've been to a lot of countries, but never Denmark. Nope. You've been to other countries in Scandinavia, right? Yes. You've been to Norway, I think. You yes. Me. Okay, so I would like to hear your perspective on how... I don't remember we... it. Oh, great. <laughs> don't okay. remember it. Have you, where have you been... When's the last time you... Have you been in Western Europe in the last... Nope. Ten years of your nope. memory? Nope. When was the last time you were in Europe? Um, probably nine. Nine years okay. old, that's, which is a okay. long-ass time ago. All right, that's a long time ago. Because I wonder what it would be like for you to move to, like, Denmark or any European country, for that matter. Uh, the reason... So, the reason I was asking about Scandinavia in particular is that the Scandinavian countries are very similar in a lot of ways. At least we're way more similar to each other than, for example, Denmark is to the States. So, I was wondering what you were thinking was different. And I have no idea how to advise someone on going to Denmark from the States. Where are they moving? For, oh, they're moving from the States? Yeah, for, if, if you're moving from the States to Denmark, I don't really know what the big, like, the big cultural difference or the big surprise is for you that couldn't be prepared for. I think it's going to really come, for me, it would come really easily, I think, with how I know both countries, but I could be wrong. So I need some more information on what you're... What you're really thinking about. Can everything. you tell me the difference between know. American Danish and Danish Danish? You don't um, call it Danish there. You call it, uh, what do you call it? Oh, you mean the cake. Uh, right? kind of. So you have a thing called Danish, which is basically Danish pastry, right? Pastries, yeah. There's the other yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. In Danish, that one is called Wienerbrot, which means Wienerbrot. Bread, from, bread from Vienna. So you think it's from Denmark, and we think we think it's from Vienna, and I don't know what they think it's from. But they think it's from I the no devil. Idea. I don't know. It would be funny if they call it American bread, and it has like a full cycle, and no one wants to take responsibility. <laughs> American. Why? Why would nobody want to take responsibility for that? That's it's delicious. It's good. It really is good. Can you say that word again? Which one? The one I tried to pronounce. Wienerbrot. V Say it again. Wienerbrot. Wienerbrot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I get to, I get to say get... some words. I get to say some words that you might not be able to pronounce, okay? And they're okay. not American. They're not American. Okay. Alright, okay. go ahead. Uh, Tach de Jamshid. Tach de Jamshid. Damn it, Cinder! <laughs> Damn it, fuck you. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Borogomshod. That's Boro easy. Gomshod. Eh, close enough. Shit, what's a hard one to say? Anamanabohor? Uh, Anamanabohor? God, I hate you so much. The fact that you can say ch bothers me. Bothers me. Is there is there ch in, in Danish? In Danish, no. But the fact that you're close to countries that have that, like... Uh, oh, what, other than Russia and like Ukraine, what, what uses ch in Europe? Uh... 
That's a good question. I don't know for sure. Because there's a lot of people that can't say huh. Yeah, give me some German words, Sundar. How many languages do you speak? Like eight? Fluently, two. You say fluently, or, but it's basically not, fluent. Not fluently. Oh, well, I, I think we could say I speak English fluently, right? I guess that's okay. Barely. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, you don't even speak English fluently. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, normal over here. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I speak decent German. I understand and speak decent Swedish, I guess, because we're pretty related. I'm worse at Norwegian than Swedish because I haven't used it as much, but in many ways, I think in the majority of the ways, Norwegian is more similar to Danish than Swedish is. And I speak English, so English, German, Danish are the three I, I guess I'm best at together with Swedish as like a mm -hmm. peripheral one. So not eight, four, I guess you could say. Can you hear me, Ian? You could count. A, a little bit. I'm having vitamins, chewable vitamins. Mmm. I got new ones. They're really delicious. Flavor burst. Brought did you, you want some German? Did you want some hard German words? Um, for you? Well, did you consider the word I said hard? Uh, I, I thought they were supposed to be hard, right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, psychologisch. Oh God, do it again. Psychologisch. Again. Psychologisch. You're like breaking up at the beginning. Psychologisch. Psychologisch. <laughs> you got the blast. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I wish there was a word that you couldn't say. I can't think of any. I don't know Farsi fluently to be able to do it. Can you say Pepto Bismol? <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite Persian word right there. Pepto Bismol. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do any accents? Like oh, it looks like Please Kill accents? Kiddo just subscribed. Thanks a lot for that. We don't... Oh. Do, what, what subscriber goodies do we actually have? We have the emotes, right? Horse emote. That's the it. The horse emote is, should not be underestimated. That's a... Yeah, it's not. Exceptional. That's it's also... You also get the toasty emote, which is Sun's fan as he looked in his Days of Beauty. Mm -hmm. So oh, you get like a little flashback. Oh, yes? Oh, yes! I've actually forgotten yes. what's happening in this game. That's the point where we're at right now. So this is officially the longest pause in Captain's Draft history. By, By a long 40 shot. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, how long has it actually been? I think it's been like 40 minutes. I don't it's know. It's been I more could than be 40. There's no way it's been 40 minutes. This has been over an hour. It has to be. I could be wrong, I guess. Here we go. Oh boy, Solo is connecting too. Oh I god, I forgot how to cast. It's been so long. What are these heroes? Who are these champions, Cinderin? Oh my god. Oh, there's a tree guy in the game. Good to see. Oh god. I'm going through puberty. You All do right, that so... twice a day, though. It's, it's a constant thing for me. What can I say? <laughs> All right. Rare we, the funny thing is, during this entire pause, we actually never talked about the game one time. That is actually, you guys have to admit, whether you like it or not, that is actually quite impressive. You gotta give us kudos for that, not one, and actually, I was about to bring something up about Funic right now, it's not gonna happen. I want the entire pause to go by with nothing being said about Dota. And then the moment the game starts, we just burst into talking about the game like nothing happened. Yes, exactly. I'm down with that. Oh, we just enforce they... global silence for a minute, just let Kavos them play. needs another, another minute, <laughs> apparently. Mute all your game sounds. 60 plus wasn't enough. Well, in the grand scheme of things, it's a very short pause he needs right now. That's true. <laughs> that is definitely true. All right, we got to think of something else to talk about that isn't Dota related. Um, basketball. God, I wish. That's the one thing you're missing in your... You're very cultured, Sindarin, I have to say. But you need to add basketball into that mix somehow. And not just any basketball. It has to be NBA basketball. But if you end up being a fan of like the Lakers or the Spurs, then we can't be friends anymore. So that's the one requirement that I have. I mean, wouldn't you love to talk about the Michael Jordan or like when Huskar does one of his dunks or acts one of his dunks? I just want to talk to Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, the, you didn't or even Shaquille know who Shaquille O'Neal was. It. I did it wrong. <laughs> you still failed miserably. Wouldn't I you like, like to not fail? Uh, I think the one Michael Jordan you knew, but that's like, come on. Everybody knows that one. LeBron uh, James, I don't think you knew. 
Oh, I, I've heard of him before. Like, the thing is, if you list me some famous basketball players, I'll tell you I've heard their names before. But if you put me on the spot and tell me list 10 basketball players, I think I couldn't. Um, what's the name of that really short guy who was extremely good a long time ago? Muggsy Bogues? Spud yeah, Webb? I think that's it. Yeah. He was in Space Jam. Okay, Here we going, go. Three, going, two, going. one, and Funnick so. is getting closer to that Blink Dagger. And in case you're wondering, this Ice Effigy is still in the dire base. Very important stuff. Ah, welcome back, friends. And guess what? Yeah, Kunkka actually TP'd this correctly. Very short break. It's um, it's pretty clear that the players, they, they don't seem to have been phased too much by the short pause. You don't really get distracted that much when pauses are the short, so they're immediately back into it. Puppy looking in the mid lane. He has some wards to place. I wonder if he remembers where he placed his last ward and when it's expiring, <laughs> else he's going to find out pretty soon. Solo pretends like nothing happened. He's currently farming the jungle. Hey, the There's good a news is they still, by. I they still know how to use their skills, right? That's the important thing to remember, is the pause was that's not long true. enough for them to forget how to play Dota. Yeah, that's, that's true. Good to see. I, you're looking at it from the brightest possible side, I think. Mid lane. X marks the spot into a torrent. Arrow is gonna miss. Tombstone is actually being placed. Goblin's gonna heal himself. He's gonna be okay. I believe if the arrow did connect, that would have been a kill going the way of Secret, but not the case. S4 have been getting extremely close to his Blink Dagger as well, actually. So another 30 seconds or so, he'll have that. Well, uh, where's Legion Commander? Yeah, she's about to pick hers up as well in the next 50 gold or so. It's gonna be nice. Smoke again, but one hero. They're gonna find Goblin. This time they're gonna find the kill. Easy kill coming their way. Nicely done, Havost. See how Balls Deep he wants to go. This is also his middle name, is Balls Deep. What was the other one that we came up with? Uh, then which one? Remember he had a middle name last game, and I've already forgotten it? Uh, I, I, I can't remember. I feel like last game was yesterday. So. <laughs> Basically. In some countries it is, for sure. Yesterday. That's true. <laughs> Somewhere in the world right now, it's midnight, roughly. Oh, bot lane, we're going on this ring. We're gonna focus on the more important kill, which is... Okay, maybe they will go bottom lane. Damn it, Sindarin, why are you always correct? s is gonna use his lasso on solo. It's gonna be a one-for-one -one trade. So that was Can the more important the kill, you think, than the Prophet? No. Wait, what? <laughs> you said no, we're gonna focus they were gonna on the more initiate on Chavo's top, I but know, then he changed I his know. mind. And yes, I, I do. Know God dang it, you see what happens when we talk together? We miss more kills, Sindarin. Production quality of this tournament is out of control. This camera, man. Seriously. <laughs> Can we get Mott in here? <laughs> Mott notes, please. I need your help. <laughs> the fact that you don't pick up these kills and you don't have to worry about it is even more sickening to me, but nobody, nobody's going to remember that. Because you know I didn't see that one. <laughs> yeah, Kuroki taking a lot of damage mid in mid lane. Top lane, we're going to have more action, so probably another kill is going to be missed. Kuroki getting slow to that new chain oh, lane. Nice oh, Kuroki chains. will get away. Oh, Top lane, boat being used to full effect. Kavos is going to get stuck in the trees, trying to get a kill before he probably will end up going down to the... Actually, no. He's going to live. You know, Surprisingly so. Like Kavos is like this... He has something about him that makes... He passively gets stronger the, the more outnumbered he is. <laughs> yeah. I completely go. Oh, Misery nice using the shadow and the full effect as well. Oh, Puppy, Ooh. can you do that any better, Navi? I don't think so. So, 80 Three minutes kills. into this game, Funnick has his second dual kill. Congratulations. Of course, most of that was a pause. Kuroki okay, looking for the kill on Kavos. He can feel it in his gut. Nope, not going to get Searing Chain. He'll be good to go. Kvost's right. biggest plays in this game, like in this series so far, was 1 on 4 in the last game and 1 on 3 in this game. Radiant's I remember when I think of Kvost, I think of no TI3. Bottom lane is out. Kvost stun from Solo. Oh, it's going to hit along with the Shackle Kuroki. No duel. duel is not up, but they're going to get the kill nonetheless. Don't need it. Great job. Just terrific job, Cinderin. Well played. Thank you. I would have done it too. I don't know what that means. Dendi and Gaba can be in mid lane now. Looking for the shackles. Gonna connect, but a little bit too deep for Dendi. That's what she said. Uh, I like this I like this way he's building the Wind Ranger. I think, you know, the good old core Wind Ranger build was four step into blink. I really like him getting blink first. Uh, instead of the force. I feel like the immediate value you get out of shackling with that is so great as well. God likes oh, Yes, blink indeed he is shackle will not connect. Dendi taking a sticky napalm for his troubles. So it and is he's 14 even to 14. skipping the force. Who, Dendi? Yeah, he's not even getting it. Looks like oh, it's right, a Daedalus, right. or I would assume it's a Maelstrom first. He with his hammer. So. As Puppy gets dueled. Unless Daedalus requires a Mithril hammer. Did I say Daedalus? I meant Daedalus. Oh, 
Funnick. Boat comes in, hits Funnick. He's very, very low. I want to try to heal up, but it's 4v1 basically. Solo gets a stun. Not going to be enough to follow it up at all, though. Dendi Shackle, not going to latch again, but that power shot. He can go for another one, honestly. He can be across the entire oh, map. Here's the initiation for Kroki. It's going to hit two. Th split stun from Solo. Not going to be enough, though. That's one death. Probably two to follow. It's Kuroki doing a really nice job of going for separate heroes so they can get the maximum. And now Kuros is like, my entire team is dead. Here we go. This is his Coming time going. Drums are going to be popped any second now. I will guess. <laughs> and they're all running from him. They're like, this is a four on one. We definitely can't take this fight. <laughs> Let's get out. <laughs> I'd be scared too. I mean, he does go balls deep so much. What Very do you think about him person. not skilling Phantasm level 2 on level 11? Oh, oh we're going to have to hold off on that. It's Lasso being used. Kuroki has Searing Chains to follow this up with a Star Storm. Well, the 1v4 didn't work out this time. As Solo now, he's going to get a Split Earth only on Puppy, however. X marks Torrent. More than enough. Secret have really found a lot of easy kills in the last two minutes, and this pause, it's giving man. them a pretty good lead. Look at the graph. <laughs> this is going to be the weirdest Radiant graph I've ever seen. Yeah, that's, that's quite a drop. The graph, Quite a drop. the graph is actually so long that you can't Radiant even see what the golden experience was like before the pause. It didn't exist, apparently. It's the game just started. Oh, nice shadow blade use from misery. A very we have to talk about I, I the know, shadow. We don't see that uh, yeah. that often. The shadow blade. Are X into arrow Cheaper. into ship into everything. They're just like it's like the safest kill ever. S4 does get shackled. I'm gonna force that out. He's really far, by the way. The drum? And they're all looking to get out of He's gonna duel. get dueled. Should be the kill going the way of Funnick. That's gonna be the fourth, if I'm not mistaken. Then you could try a Blink Shackle. Kuro's standing still for a moment, but I think they want Misery instead. Shadow Blade, however, is available. Oh, he wants this it. Quite he the wants chase. it. Shackle! Not like Shackle to nothing! Dust, Dust used, missing. but it's not gonna be in range. So the one thing uh, I kind of want to talk about, we're gonna see more action as usual. The Shadow Amulet change, where it just makes it easier to use. So you, you click it, and you can keep walking, and you'll automatically stop once you're actually invisible. And we've seen that come to effect a couple times already. Moonlight Shadow being used by Secret. X marks into Torrent. Don't think ship is up, it's not down for another oh, seven seconds. Oh wow, what a dodge! Phantasm for the win. He's gonna get healed up from Leech Command. He's gonna go balls deep again, but no. Ember Spirit gets the hell out of there with his ultimate. That was really clutch. I was like, the moment he got X'd, I thought he was gonna Phantasm and just try to use the illusions to whatever extent he could since he had pretty much full health, but Saving it, keeping it there, ends up saving his life, I think. Looked like he was dead for sure, but really clutch. Well, boat's back Arrow? online. Arrow is going to connect on Goblack. Big Daddy they knows how to ship. He's going to get the so ship, Torrent, everything being used. And yet another easy kill. Puppy's arrows have been on point this series. I'm actually trying to remember. He was definitely the Moran in the first game, too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's been so long. Yeah, it really has. Funnick, Blink Dagger up in two seconds. Is he gonna feel it coming? S4 looking for the gank. Lasso's gonna connect, bring it back to the arrow. That will also be an easy, easy kill coming that way. Look at this fire damage, it's ridiculous. Even Misery's here. The leech XP. Dendi with DD. And steal the last hit. He got the last hit too? Damn. That's oh, legit X. X. On oh boy. Boat not quite up yet. He has Wind Run, which he uses. Arrow will not come through. Searing change is there though. But TP support is here to fall, uh, force Secret to fall back. It looks like the teams just needed a minute to wake up after the pause, which makes a lot of sense. And since then, they're really they're playing at full throttle once again. Kuro finding oh, a double. double searing chain into an arrow. Dendi gets a nice shackle, but it's not going to matter. The nature's profit ult just deals way too much damage right now. Godlike pops his ult in the meantime, trying to run away, but Flame Guard, if he can get close enough, should be enough to take him out. Along with his ultimate, stays alive for quite a long time. Boat's coming in, he's gonna hit the ground, but they do get the buff, which is super underrated. Well, maybe not by the competitive scene, but. And this is gonna be a tier one mid. Funic, oh boy. Yeah, Navi are gonna Radiant need to find some kills soon. They fortified. they get outnumbered seemingly all the time. It's it's first of all, secret are it's maneuvering really well, but they also just have more heroes every time. Funnick now. X marks into a lasso into the right clicks of misery, which are actually dealing a lot of damage thanks to that maelstrom. And they have a lot of invis. They're in mean, the moonlight shadow with the Lothar. Right, correct me if I'm wrong. I think Navi have died ten times in three minutes. 
Is it that feels true? right. It feels right. Cinderella. They have died died exactly. so much in the last few minutes, just getting picked off, and it's. Wasn't it just 14, 14? It's the pod, I, yeah, That's what it feels like. It's great plays from Secret all around. They're really being aggressive, but at the same time, you just feel like Navi could just. Now, if this keeps happening, you should be aware that either the ganks are coming, so you don't initiate, or you try to outnumber them. Nice oh, dodge from nice. Kuro. He just on the shackle. Trying to bait them into this because Roshan is still being taken out. No tails here with the ship. It's coming in. What's it going to hit? Is the question. Nice phantasm and a BKB being shown by Big Dad or by Kavos, I should say. No tails, the one taking the brunt of the damage. It's not going to go down quite yet. The smash up getting forced out, but finally goes down to the phantasm and deals a ridiculous Dyer's amount of damage. Dendi trying to take out the Ember Spirit. Oh, not going to find the kill yet. Kuroki should be okay unless the power shot goes the entirety of the map, which definitely is possible thanks to this latest patch, of course. <laughs> When it comes to the Kuroki, he's okay. He's good to go. Can Navi Dyer's take this Roche? Oh. Arrow? Secret are trying out. to help them as much as they can. It's respectable. This like, is sorry very for the scary pause. for them. Emperor's back. Full we'll health and mana. He's gonna go in. He gets a nice slide of the fist. Kuroki, oh my god. This damage is ridiculous. Kuroki goes down so fast. And a duel now. Not gonna be enough, but Funnik gets placed onto the cliff. Roshan still up and available to be taken out. He's just going to be left on the cliff for S4 to take out. But most in the meantime, he likes to be outnumbered, but it's not going to work out this time for him. And this is a team wipe. All it required was a buyback from Marana. And now Aegis. And Kuro. I feel the way of Secret. Oh, he bought back as well? Yeah, they bought back too. That's right. That's still easily worth it to get a team wipe and a rush, so... Very nice once again by Secret. They got... It made a huge difference that Kuro didn't die here on the cliff earlier when the Tombstone Zombies were there. They could have killed him there and he would have bought back. They might have not even tried for the Roche, or if they would have and they killed him again, then that fight would have looked differently. But he came in with two lives, he came full HP, fought out, got killed, dropped the remnant and just came back in with buyback. So that hero is sick with buyback in situations like that and Kuro just showing why. And they're not taking it easy. They're gonna find Lesh here. They get a little bit closer. This is an easy kill. X, there you go. And if you're Lesh, like, there's literally nothing you can do. This ship is gonna... By the way, <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. I honestly keep forgetting that ship is also a uh, cosmetic that isn't in the game. You need to remind me after this game. I don't know if the actual bonus is How not be in the game and then attack. it's in your game? <laughs> because we're just cool like that, what can I say? Wow. Yeah, Navi has just completely dropped off the map in, since this pause. And it's weird, because when they came back from the pause, they just had two or three really good moves, and then yep. since then, everything's been going wrong. They're getting totally outplayed all over the map. Double torrent. And I still feel like they can win fights, but it needs to be more organized. They need the tombstone down correctly. They need to be the ones finding initiates. They need to get one counterplay with press the attack against the lasso, for example. Radiant bait someone out and try to get that. Maybe they're doing it right now with Bust. But S4 doesn't bite it. Goblock has the vitality booster. Arrow? And the buckler. So going for a crimson guard at some point in the game. Shackle will not connect. Misery TP's out. Radiant's and just like that. Bottom tower has space created for Kuroki and Misery to take out tier 2 bottom. Oh, we have a duel. Initiation on the no-tail. That's going to be their consolation, but... And that's 80 damage coming the way of Funix so far from dual kill. They're going to have to defend, though. Tower is under attack. Indeed. They're really waiting long in this TP. They're almost losing half a tower. Or, okay, third a tower before they show up. They know that duel is down, so they don't have to worry about that, but we have three heroes from Na'Vi to defend. Do they still not have any detection for this Lothar? And now it's four. Oh, nice counterplay from Bust! Perfect Phantasm. Avoiding the lasso and just turning on him. Easy kill. And probably tower as well. right clicks are happening in Bust. <laughs> Misery basically 1v1s. Almost got two kills out of that. Oh, Kuroki looking for the slide of fist, but it just came off cooldown. Luckily for Navi there. Radiant's so, middle tower. a two for one overall. Dendi, Shackle. Oh, that was really close to landing on this tree. I think it was good for Navi that it didn't. The counterplay coming in from no Tail would have been a big problem. Look at this Phantasm still being alive. Like, it seems like he used... I don't know. That 42 second duration is crazy, man. If you don't counter them off, you just... Yeah, man. I agree, That's man. That, that man. What does he have right now? So he has BKB. Does he go armlet? I, I feel like that is one of those things that you can't not get most of the time. And maybe if you're against like an AA, or is there a point in the game where it's too late to get an armlet? You think? Because it helps the illusions out so much. Yeah, I would. I would say right now the heart is probably more valuable because he's so close to the reaver. Simply for the for the ease of the build up that that he can get this big item in a moment. I would have I would have liked to see an armlet first to be honest in this wow. case. It is extremely good. But 
the entire team of Na'Vi trying to initiate the oh, final torrent. Ship. Slide of fist, everything coming in. Misery, look at the right clicks go. Ship will come in as well. Kuroki is a 1v1 battle versus versus Khabost. And Dendi, focus fire deals a lot of damage thanks to that mail ship. gonna look for the Kuroki kill. He might find it eventually, but no. He's the one getting chased now. Oh, they're gonna turn it around to 2v1. That is the Aegis, however, being used. S4, four staffs across the cliff. Khabost looking for more. One hit away, finally kind of clicks in for the last right click. It is a three for two buyback from the Nature's Prophet. Kavos again going balls deep, not going to work out yet again in his favor. X marks out of the sprout. Funnick, right click certain enough. Another team wipe going the way of Secret, and that required one buyback this time. So all in all, a five for two. Secret looking really good. Navi would have stomped that fight with Phantasm, I think. But that's like everything yeah, the cooldown for them is still right very now. long. They need a lot of value out of the Phantasm. It's a 140 second cooldown. Not, Secret knows that it's on cooldown, so they can go for these plays, but with that I'm available in the next fight, to, okay. uh, well, he can't even go to cast Lightning. Kuro's gonna kill him. Arrow might spot him here. No. And they're gonna. No Tail's gonna X mark himself, just get some nice mana and health and base. I love it. So soon. A cheeky play, as they would say. Tier 2 is dead, fortification popped. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. And with that, we'll see if they fall back. Roche. Well, the Aegis was just popped, actually, by a, via a kill. So they're not going to find him for a bit. And they're just going to play it a little passive. They're going to play disciplined, as, as they say. And Misery is just getting stronger and stronger by the minute. It has a full Mjolnir. Uh, ultimate Orb. Is that going to be a Sheep Stick, you think? Could technically be a Manta, I suppose. I think Sheep Stick's really good, though. Could also be a Scotty. Yeah, it could be a that, that has been the I'd flavor say, of the month pickup. For, for me, the most Hex part. is the best, because they this game right now is mainly Hvost versus World. Of course, there's still other heroes that are really that have items and can deal damage, but him with Phantasm is the ultimate the ultimate difference maker, right? If he doesn't get Phantasm off and just gets hexed and killed, it doesn't matter how well the rest of Navi plays. If Hvost doesn't doesn't get all off, the fight is lost. They don't so have Hex is really it's nice to get catch around, him off before he BKB. He didn't really want to go for Lash. He's going to get the stun up, but will find his way to the grid eventually. I would assume finally does. Lasso onto Funic, who's all alone in a 2v1 situation. Going for the dual kill. Is it going to be enough to take out Misery? No! In fact, Misery wins the duel. That's 18 damage to boot. And I'll be trying to get a trade of source in this tier 1 tower mid. They'll find it. And they also killed Kuro. Really nice play from Dendi there. Oh, Hitting a great shackle. Power shotting across and then catching him on a top the hill afterwards. So, showing some Radiant's signs of life here with some better decision attack. making. Still have quite a way to go. They need to take towers mainly. And now that Phantasm is on cooldown, this is when the real challenge starts. Can they get something done in the next two minutes, or will they be losing Roche or a fight? Radiant's top tower has or fallen. towers. Well, there's only tier threes left now, so I guess that's difficult. What's Kobo saving for? It has to be a heart. Have you felt the presence of the Undying pick at all this game? Not that much, no. I feel like He's the Lesh and Undying just haven't really had their part in this game at all. I also think Godlike plays too aggressively as Solo gets caught out again. Like, Godlike and Solo have died a lot in this game, and it is really difficult how they need to play, because they're used to just being, you know... When you're playing Lesh, you want to go and push out the lanes by casting a couple of spells, but Bat Rider and Prophet and X Mark makes it so difficult to go anywhere mm -hmm. in the enemy vision. Um, but at the same time, Goblek in these fights, I think he's too far out front. This is what I was talking about. Flesh Golem is a great ability, but when you're a support, you're not that tanky that you can do it. And every fight he tries to start out in the front, he maybe gets his tombstone off and then he dies. He gets X mark, combo, arrow, dead. And they it also seems like, you know, when on paper, that shouldn't really kill him, right? Because they have press the attack, so when the arrow hits, you just press the attack and run. Or turn. Or force more disables onto him, and then you can take a an advantageous fight, but hasn't really been there. This is a good item, though. Crimson Guard. Yep, he's been working on that for quite a while, but that'll that'll help for the right clicks of, I guess, Nature's Prophet for the most part, Ember Spirit. I mean, that works on Slide of Fist, so it's something. See how that comes to effect in this game, though. Puppy in the jungle. I mean, the jungle right now belongs to Secret as well. Uh, Kunkai here, X marks. It's on a oh, solo sentries the... here. It doesn't see this ward right outside the range. This is the ideal situation for Secret. And Navi have no idea where their aggressive ward is right now. So they just did... Wait, 
Misery just went to the enemy base with X marks. What did he do in there? He was like uh, right here. Trying to kill an effigy or something? Might have tried to kill a courier? Yeah, perhaps. I'm not sure. That's the a pretty cool on the way play. back. They're baiting it. They're actually in position if he ports in. He's not trying this time though. Porting top. So full sheep stick, full Mjolnir. As he gets X marks back. God, that is. <laughs> if you're talk about like annoying split push with X marks a spot on top of that, that's uh, that's annoying yeah. to a whole new level. What team was it that did a strat with Kunka Tinker and did that exact thing? I can't remember. It was a. I think it was Southeast Asian team. Or a Chinese team that pulled that off. That shit is extremely difficult to deal with because your well, I know Chuan's split a pushes. big Kunkka support player. That was like I don't think the... it was. It wasn't IG, but it's just when you think about it, how annoying it is to play against when when someone split pushes, right? Oh, misery's gonna get hexed. Then it doesn't win the shackle though. You will get out. So if this you're playing against split push, has right? just been insane. Like it has not been countered barely at all. They're gonna, the they're gonna, gonna be canceled by solo. Too. Getting sheeped from across the cliff. Oh, they get on bottom lane. We have initiation. As four finds Funic. Kuroki's. Don't know if they have enough to take him out just 2v1. In fact, reinforcements are on the way. Oh, Dendi gets a nice shackle onto S4. Does he want to focus fire? It's actually on cooldown from the previous engagement. Tombstone's wasted. The bat rider will get out. Funic was going to blink duel that one, but. Kobos top lane the looking game. for misery. Does he have. No. I don't know why I keep asking that question. <laughs> they never have vision. They've had a couple dusts, but only one have hit, I think. One has hit. And that, that's been a problem all game. The support, I mean, we have a dust right now and on dying, but he has zero mobility, so catching up is difficult in its own right. Ghost Scepter now, now on just, Puppy. They're just gathering five heroes in mid, which is understandable. They're just, they're totally scouted out by this ward. I think Navi really do need a gem. Correct me if I'm wrong, they don't have one. No. That is the best item they can pick up in this situation. I know it's a gamble, and if they lose the gem, it's a big problem, but without it, this is going to be happening. jumps in. He pops BKB, but he finds nobody! If Secret can just back out, this could be a big win for them. Shackle's going to connect on S4. Arrow? Arrow? On nobody. Oh, wow. Bonic's BKB is completely wasted. Bottom lane in the meantime. Meanwhile. Just getting split pushed. Level 21 misery. He sheeps Kobos. Kuroki is here as well. Don't think they have enough damage, because he does have that heart like we talked about. Um, but they're just ratting it up. They're doing what they should do. Yeah, this is very similar to how Secret took advantage of, of Navi's movement on the map in game one, where Navi group up five, want to get a team fight. Secret just don't give it to them. They back out at the right time, avoid that gank, uh, and just at the same time split push bottom. I think Navi panicked a little bit on that TP because I do believe there was still backdrop protection, but then on, on the other hand, were they going to grab anything top? It didn't look like it. So, might as well. S4 getting hexed. Oh, once again, Shackle, Shackle doesn't, land. doesn't connect. That was, I thought that should have connected for sure. That was pretty close. Ghost, arrow. arrow connects on Club uh -oh. and Lasso sure to follow afterwards. BKB is up, but when you're stunned, obviously can't use it. I hear the boat. The boat is dead. The question is, is he going to buy back? X marks the spot on Dog Black now. Another easy kill on the way of Secret. Yep, That's he can't probably buy back, a later so This Rax. is going to be a Rax. I do believe bottom lane probably the choice. And I think Secret don't think he has buyback either, because that heart is very freshly purchased. And, oh, Misery trying it again. Shenanigans in the base. <laughs> Shenanigans. BKB popped early, Funic again. Is it going to be wasted? Looks like that's going to be the case. Was looking for a surprise duel, but not going to happen. Dendi getting Searing Chain into a sheep as four pops his BKB. See if this can do oh, anything. This Monica is a jumps in with that duel. Who wins the duel? It's gonna be close. S4 falls to the grave, but shortly after, Legion Commander can't really use that extra damage right now. The boat comes in, connects on Dendi. He's the lone survivor of Navi. And at least one Rax. Three dead for a decent amount of time. They have the urn to keep no tell. I mean, the fact that you can X marks into the base, refresh, and come back is pretty big. Not sure if we're gonna see that this time, though. Oh, as I say that. Did he X marks himself? Do it on yes. himself. This this whole dire team can just reset so much. Kunke can X mark himself and port back. The Ember can jaunt or whatever you want to call that. Activate fire remnant. Falcon has teleport. 
And then and even this is all Mirage, without a mech. pretty mobile. Has mech just like dropped off, or is that just me? Like, yeah, I feel like it's really almost never picked off. up anymore. I, I don't. I feel oh, like it's picked up too rarely as well. Yeah, I feel like it's. Teams are picking it up way less, and there are quite some games we watch where I'm like, they should really get a mech in this one. But I can also understand that in, in many of the games, it actually isn't even good enough, I think, compared to the alternative. It's really nice oh my god. It's like, there's no risk involved in this play. It's so crazy, right? There's absolutely no risk. They can't counterplay it, unless... We talked about this, can you defusal blade X, and I can't remember if it's on the list of newly purgeable spells. Yeah, I assume it is, but I, I thought it was. Because if it's purgeable... It's tempting now, honestly. But whether I don't know if now you're getting up, the I idea, think. but yeah. a defusal blade will work wonders. This strategy is gonna be their their end. Oh, it's gonna right? cancel the TP. Dies. Nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> Bot lane. As far looking for an initiation, but doesn't find anything to his liking. They can do this every shadow. 20 seconds. The only wow, limit on is teleportation. Uh, Chavost, when that pops up, that doesn't mean he's holding it necessarily. It means he bought it, right? So he bought the gem. Am I mistaken in that? He did, yeah. That is not what you want for your carry. I mean, this is no, their one. At least they're realizing that this is the only way back into the game. Yeah. But now Misery has an MKB on top of everything else. He's going to get X marked into the base, goes for the Sheep Stick, gets sent back immediately. <laughs> Knew that it was a 1v4. He wasn't close. If it was close, he would have gone all in for sure. That's the differences here. Bottom lane going to continue to get pushed here. We have the Lasso on Funic into a boat, into a torrent, into everything. Boat didn't even didn't even need that. They're gonna get the buff, obviously. Solo takes two right clicks and dies. Kabos popped the BKB and the Phantasm, trying to get a kill on the Misery. Might find it. Finally does so. Just look at the god mode. These this damage now is so insane. Not so god now. Yeah, Kabos now all alone. He's a lonesome man. That's a triple kill for Misery. Buyback from Kabos, but the GG's gonna be called out. This is way over. So a 2-0 advantage for, for Team Secret in this best of five semifinals. After that ridiculously long pause, Secret takes it. And in convincing fashion. I mean, that just like flipped around in a heartbeat. That game, everything in this game was, or almost everything, was decided in five minutes when Navi died like 12 or 13 heroes, I think.